Hi everyone, I just wanted to give this video a quick little introduction. So I made this video with a friend about uh, nearly two months ago now. We didn't really explain it while we were making it, but basically it was my graduation party. Uh, it was right after I just graduated from high school. It was my graduation party like seven weeks ago. I had like all, a whole ton of friends over. A lot of them hadn't seen my room since we renovated it and they're all like, oh my gosh, Kins Collector, I, we forgot all about all of your webkins. And we were just kind of like looking at all of my webkins, going through a lot of nostalgia. Since they live like fairly close, they're like, what if we go back to our houses and we get our webkins and we just have like a powwow? And I was like, yes, let's do it. They got all their webkins, they came back, and we decided to make a video where we just explained all of our webkins. <laughs> Which, I don't know why we decided to do that, but we did. And uh, I didn't make any introduction while we were doing it, we just went for it. Yeah, we were just like sifting through webkins, like pulling them out, putting them here on my bed, and just talking about them. It's a really kind of long video, it's like a good like talking video, you just like want to hear like people talk or like you just kind of want to hear more about my webkins and some of my friends webkins and their relationships with each other uh, is really fun. I'm going to really quickly just say all of the names, I guess, of my friends because <laughs> I don't think we went through. We had visiting my friends uh, Paris, Eloise Baker, Noodle, and Pogo who I've never talked about before. She's never appeared in any of my videos. Irving, he's also never appeared in any of my videos. Um, one of my cousins, who was in my New Year's video, if you remember, you might remember her, um, and my sister Sarah. And it was really crowded, and we just had this huge pile of webkins on the floor, and we were just talking for like three hours, and we filmed it. And I didn't make any introduction for this. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys go and enjoy the video. I told them your name was Paris. Okay. So. I thought you said it was something different. No, it was, I was made a video, I think like explaining Blue Star's family or something. And I was like, I own this with this, this other friend. And if I just keep saying this other friend over and over again, you're gonna get confused. So let's just call her Paris. Okay. I, think, and I feel like you should start both... with the sisters first. They're okay. The core, this is the core right. original relationship. Yes. The sisters. We have the sisters. They're like, they're, what did they do? They like travel and yes, stuff? Yes, they travel and they they're do like crazy things. They're like the they're Indiana adventures. Jones of the yeah, world. Yeah. Pretty much because you know that was cool when we were in like eighth grade um <laughs> they have all their jewelry and yes, stuff yes necklaces like, nita has this uh bizarro necklace yeah. from six flags new england <laughs> i feel like um she used to have an earring or something I don't probably i think she did uh but yeah so circa belongs to paris and yes uh, hi this is paris that's her hand she wears lots of rings in it and i said necklaces bracelets <laughs> Rings and bracelets, aka pants. <laughs> and then, obviously, this is Nita, this is mine. So, they are the sisters. Yes. Uh, so, Nita has a lover. Her name is Ivy. They are currently together. What's Ivy's uh, story? I don't know anything about Ivy's Ivy. story. So, Ivy, Ivy's story is like long and complicated, so I'm gonna try and abridge it. Ivy was uh, <laughs> Ivy and her sister Lily, who is my Bengal tiger, mm -hmm. who's not currently here. Their sisters. And they're from India, and they were sent to a boarding school in England where Ivy met Cora, which is my zebra over there. And then, like, they started doing like dark magic and oh, stuff, God. and then, and kind of like got in a relationship. But then the relationship got really toxic, and like, Cora kind of started a cult. And Ivy decided she really did not want to be in it. And all this time, like, Lily was just kind of like going through life, like, doing really well, and kind of became, like, a member of Doctors Without Borders, and was, like, really successful and like, working in <laughs> countries in Africa, and Ivy was like, I need to get out, so she just, like, kind of disappeared uh, off with Lily and, like, hid from Cora for a while, and then just met Nita when she was traveling. I didn't really flesh out that part of the story, how they met, but uh, right, now they're well, together. They exploring, probably. Yeah, and they, they just kind of, like, meshed well so now they're uh, now they're together that's beautiful so then, they, do they go on exploring adventures together yeah together i Amazing. would think so love it but then she does i feel like she does less of the exploring the exploring is much more of like nita's thing but then of ivy course, ivy yes ivy lady. comes along and she enjoys it but like it's very much a nita driven kind of thing and then we have nemus who <laughs> is circa's son yeah with 
uh, Circa had a brief relationship with Fritz, the Westie, um, in the West Indies. It was a moment of weakness. <laughs> the West Indies. <laughs> it, was, it was an Indiana Jones-esque oh, circumstance. So, like, they had, like, a short affair. Something happened. The, it's not quite clear. He's a high-end bartender or something, or a high-end scholar. It's not quite clear what high happened between the two high of them. High-end scholar, says today, Noodle. Today, yes, Fritz is an actor, and you can catch him in Youth. If you want, youth a movie with Hot youth a, a series that's that's on my channel. Really nowadays, him, yeah. nowadays he's an actor on that show. Can you stop squishing that cup? You're going to murder my audio, Irving. Irving, <laughs> sorry. He is not part of my son's life. <laughs> oh, thank you, bye. I mean, Irving. <laughs> And then this I is know. just Nemus. I didn't even watch Circa and I think he occasionally he's comes honest. along, but I feel like he's also like busy with school. But then he also just kind of like bounces. How old is he? I don't. A uh, teenager. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, look at my strong strapping son. Noodles here too. Really just not. doing things. Uh, yeah, we, we're, having, <laughs> we're having a more we're having time. a Webkins powwow. I have my, my other friend is That's here. Just a PSA. What do you? What do you? What should we call you? Irving. Irving. <laughs> Irving? Yes. I like how you said that together. I know. Our friend it. Irving here is here yeah. too. He doesn't okay. play with Webkins and is just watching us as He has a crazy. few. He has a few. He has Mrs. Bring Mint. Bring him next time, Irving. You have Mrs. A Webkins named Mrs. Mint? She's a cat. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is your code name in this video? What should I be calling Nettie. you? Is my question. You can call me that. You can no, call Kiwi. me Nettie. You can call me Kiwi. Well, Kiwi's the name of that cat. Yeah, but it's also my name. The dog true. is also my name. But that's because that's like the only thing you do. That's true. On my channel. That's my one thing. Is oh. that I do her baking videos with her. And, and we call them baking with kiwi and noodle because they're food names. Yep. Okay, kiwi it is. Explaining everything to Irving sorry, because he has no idea what's going really on. Edit that out. <laughs> okay. For so what? wait, wait. For her she's Sarah. Channel. She's noodle. noodle. He's Irving. Paris. She's Paris. You can call me Kiwi or Kiwi, Nettie or Kids yes. Collector or any one of those. Hey, what do you want your name to be? Um, Pogo. Po all right. <laughs> if you guys don't know why we're all together, it's because it's my graduation party today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I graduated high school yesterday, and today we're just filling in all the stories of our webkins. It's a, we're, we're going back to childhood yeah. a little bit. And then how are those two related to this? Um, clan. They're cousins, oh, yeah. and they're bros, and they visit all the time whenever they go to the Himalayas And they're like or royalty. I haven't quite decided how Zendaya's ro royalty, yeah, but she's- Yeah, this one's Zendaya. This is Zendaya, um, With she's With her like, lovely outfit. I'm gonna make her a new outfit, guys. I really that's like that. We've decided that's happening. <laughs> well, yeah, this is Zendaya. She's like the queen of her, like, whatever clan. Her, mm -hmm. like, a uh, leopard clan in the Himalayas or something, and Jasper's just, like, her boyfriend. And they're their, their cousins, so, like, they'll all just, like, powwow together. Their visit and whenever they're, like, time. investigating some something. Yeah. Them. Oh, and then I want, uh, Jasper's Nemus. Definitely named after I want Nemus to definitely. get with, uh, either Cracker or Ivana. I think you should end up with one of them. Okay, I'm cool. I with think that, that would happen. I, I think maybe they'll fight over Do you have them. a preference? No. These. Are all of our Pegasi combined? Most of these are mine. Only one of these is Paris's. This one belongs Sorry, to Paris. Sorry, I don't have an obscene amount of webkin. I love Pegasi, so I have all <laughs> of really them. You really don't have as many as I expected. No. Well, these are the these are only the kinds of these are the only kinds of. Oh, do you mean webkins or specifically Pegasi? Specifically Pegasus. Oh, okay. These are the only. There are only four kinds of Pegasi. I have mm. all of them. I didn't really want to kiss up them, but because like this was like my dream webkins when I was like eight years old, and oh, then I finally cute. got one, so I'm happy to have that one. This is Sophia. She like grants wishes like one day a year for people because she likes to uh what's what's the name of their sorority they're like they have like a Kappa sisterhood Kappa Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. they're like a sisterhood kind of or like sisterhood a sorority sisterhood of the traveling Pegasus yes the sisterhood of the Pegasi no sisterhood of the traveling Pegasus all right sisterhood of the traveling Pegasi if you're wondering what that sound is in the background uh, my friend's Pogo is just casually playing on the Webkin's app <laughs> Because we're just having she a great dabbed. time. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Rishi, who is bright and colorful, and I don't really have... I don't really know what she, like, is, her story. We have to get there with her. This is a Shilder, who has, like, this Maybe pretty gold thing. she doesn't know the full extent of her powers yet. Yes. She's like That's the youngest. the Pegasus sorority helps you find out. She's like the youngest. The Pegasus She's sorority the helps you find out your powers. The Pegasus, no. the Pegasus sisterhood. The Pegasus <laughs> sisterhood. That's the like Pegasus sisterhood helps you find out the full yes. extent of your powers. The Pegasus sisterhood teaches you who you are as a uh, Pegasus. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have Rishi, who's trying to figure out who she is. 
And then we have a shoulder. Um, her sister animals. Theodosia. This is the only they're one that belongs gross. to They're gross. They're a squad. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, they are happily together. Not, not like that way. not like not romantically. In a sexual way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have a shoulder and Theodosia, and then we have Effie. Who I feel like, and I, I've told, said this before. They're rival, what? um, rival oh, sorority yeah. is the dragons. Yes, they're like rivals with the dragons. Right. These um are Which are dragons. Yes, <laughs> which they have um kind of like a fraternity sorority sort of deal, like the rival with the Pegasus that rivals the Pegasus sisters on like a mythical level. Yes, Danny <laughs> looks, Danny looks exactly like your one though. They're like not as cohesive as Danny. the sisterhood. <laughs> There's like infighting and rivalry within the dragons, but what's currently holding them together is. Uh, their lost brother Danny, who is also an emperor dragon, uh, and they don't know what happened to him, and they Danny desire. And Tyson are literal actual. They look. Uh, Tyson is the actual brother of Danny, and they're looking to find their brother in their fraternity Danny slash sorority. Danny is an actual lost, like my. I so lost this is Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he is. It's yeah, really Tyson. He's holding uh, everyone together to find These three belong right to Paris. Yeah. These three belong to myself, and then Danny belongs to Noodle. Yeah, Danny belongs to me and I The lost brother know belongs to Noodle. Oh, she actually really doesn't sad. know where he is. The fact that he's lost is kind of holding these guys together because there are like some rivals and stuff going on right now. The big issue with them is the splash dragon, Narita. She is in love with Bellamy, but Bellamy loves this is Bellamy and he loves Lilo and they're very much together and she's ex like hella jealous. Oh no. Um Lilo used to just be um ice, but then uh Bellamy wished for this key from uh Sophia who is the Pegasus so that he could like bring her to life and like keep her like warm enough so that she could be alive then Narita occasionally will steal that key and then she turns back into ice and then she will just make like storms over the ocean and hurricanes when that happens and yeah that's how weather happens <laughs> that's how weather happens. that's how weather happens wow. <laughs> bellamy and sophia are like chill even though like they're supposed to be rivals as pegasus and dragons they have to band together to find danny yeah Literally. the dragons are all trying to band themselves together even despite this mega rivalry so that they can find their lost brother danny and yeah this is tyson who is danny's brother who's not lost i mean tyson's whole Whole life goal is to find Danny. Yes. Presently? What's present? Oh, here we go. What was his goal before he was lost? <laughs> he was um chilling. His he was living his best Wait, life. wasn't he with this one? I forget her name. I don't I know like, that that's name. true. So, like, I, I feel don't like remember they were together. That. Who's this one? This is Hespera. Oh. Hespera can be with uh Danny. Sure, and then... she can be like running around crazy like, like she and where she is my boyfriend? together to find We could even I if we really want wanted to make it really dramatic, they could while they're looking for Danny, they could have a fling, you know, like real dramatic. And who's this little one? So this is so Cotton Candy. candy. <laughs> cotton Candy. I feel like, I swear I Cotton Candy and, I feel like Cotton Candy and Tyson are definitely together at one point. So that's like our dragon group. And yeah, they're having like some troubles, but they're gonna try and get together for Danny. They've been Danny. a little bit chewed on by my rats. <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> Paris has pet rats, by the way. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at they're, the, they're trying Tyson's all. Tyson's a little worse for wear. From the they're, they're trying really hard to band together so that they can find their lost brother. Will they find him? Maybe. So Paris made a joke that I Noodle could just check the pile again, and she did, and he was right there. Danny, oh my god, I'm so sorry, we had a fling! Paris, no. maybe she's hiding on purpose to keep the sorority fraternity together. Oh god, oh. take it back! Oh. <laughs> he was never there. But in the meantime, that means his girlfriend's cheating on him, so... Oh. No, we never confirmed that! <laughs> Hesper's a good girlfriend. She loves Danny and she misses him very much. Thank you. Blue Star's family. Actually, like, divided between, like, who owns who. By the way, if you hear Noodle saying interesting things, she's going through all of my webkins clothes. These are also pants. So if you hear her say anything just interesting, that's what it is. <laughs> you guys, like, know Blue Star's family pretty well. I'm just gonna, like, go through them really quickly so you guys, like, know who owns who. I own more of them just by looking at them, Yeah, because she used to just add stuff. Every week we'd come to play with them. And she'd be like, yeah, so I'm adding this person to the family? You would add right, stuff whatever. too. Yeah, because sometimes I'd see your webkins, like I'd steal something from my brother or something. <laughs> and I'd be like, you know what? If if this is a cool Kiwi can add stuff, so can I. And I would try and one-up you. Like, that's what I did with Fire Hydrant. 
I, I did not know brother. that. Yeah. I just kind of thought like, oh, they should have another kid. That was just how it was in my head. I'm like, they should have another kid. I thought there was too Let's much. Just in give them all the kids. Radon, though, I think Radon was my best idea. Radon was a great idea. Yeah, um, so we have is JT or Blue Star older. Real questions. <gasps> I don't know if we decided. I think. In I the think series... it's fine. If, I feel because wasn't when we first did this, we were at. Um, I remember the. <laughs> it was story. the walkathon. It was we the were, walkathon, and, and we, we were just outside, like, and we, we were, were just describing it. how our characters were how they like met. role playing, so, like, role playing how they met. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. Much. And JT, while talking, not with actual webkins, just talking back and forth. Blue Star was rich, and JT like came over to her house, and he was like impressing her and stuff, and he like. And she was just into it. She was really into it, and they got married like really soon after that. It was like a shotgun wedding, pretty much. So. This is JT, belongs to Paris. I think Paris. he's probably older. Yeah, I think he's just a little bit older. <laughs> this is Blue Star, who I feel like doesn't talk about her age that much. Because she's um. like a, she's an elegant woman. It's the, the cool guy items. This is Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Next in age order is Moonlight, who well, belongs to Paris. technically first in age order. Technically first in age order. Okay, I, so I went and got Blue Star's mother, who's Willow Feather, who's back here. Blue Star also has a father, but I don't have him currently. He's just a character who exists in my head right now. Oh, what is... His name is, uh... Custer, I think. What's he, Custer what, what Cardoxon? Kind of a miniature dachshund. I thought she would be like the mix between a King Charles and a dachshund. Okay. Also, that's where the dachshund name came from. I see. And he's like been the host of like a TV show. And her full name is Willowfeather a career Cardoxon. She's like a writer and like never, no one knows anything about how old she is because she's way too prissy of a woman she's to tell timeless. you. Timeless. timeless, yes, exactly. Uh, next in age order is then Moonlight, who oh, is their I see oldest you've given daughter. Her earrings. Yeah, I've given her a series of outfits. Yeah, um, Moonlight was the first, um, and she's Moonlight's like the first smallest. Child. She's. I've always imagined her to be like a really tiny person, but she's like, uh, she's very into fashion and stuff like that. And this yeah. is we her, married them when yeah. we were really so, little. So like technically they're married they're currently. Married. Currently in the Keeping Up with the Cardoxon series, they're just dating, but they're like, we had a wedding for we them. We had a wedding for them when we were, we're gonna, It was a huge deal yeah, that day. Like, I want to have, giant day. we'll have like a wedding video for them, and we'll do like a Keeping Up with the Cardoxons episode where they get married. This is them. I think we made them have it. They did have a kid. They definitely they had totally a They totally did have a kid. Um, no, I thought they had a daughter. At some point they had a kid. But yeah, this is yeah, yeah, Moonlight and Moonlight and Coco Chip. Coco Chip is mine, what and Coco happened? Chip uh, plays Mark in youth. <laughs> what happened to the kid? <laughs> I'm Who knows? I don't remember the ceremony <laughs> other than I remember Pogo made this coat for his wedding and I haven't taken it off because I'm afraid yeah, that's that it's literally his apart. wedding jacket. Pogo, which is why I look do, you, do you remember making this coat? You made this coat I for his do. wedding. I slaved over that. Were you, you did. Were you I haven't wanted to take it off him because I didn't want it to fall apart. I, I don't actually remember being of, at the wedding. Because you remember when she gave birth to the their kid. That's what oh, started yeah. us doing all the birth videos. I'm pretty sure I have their kid. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it was one of those. It yeah. was this. It was definitely this one. Her name is Noemi. I'm pretty sure this is their kid. Moonlight and uh, Coco Chip do have sure. a kid. This is her, and her name is Noemi. Yeah, that sounds right. I don't know how old she is. She was like really little, cause we we she was only like at least one or two. Yeah. Like, and then like Moonlight, Moonlight these guys. Twenties and stuff. Like she's like eighteen. Oh, in the series. I like yeah. I like changed all their ages, so they're like closer to when we played with them more often. This is not part of the series yet. Noemi is mine. Wait. We'll put her. Oh yeah, put her on your we'll side. We'll put her, put her next to there. great grandma. Willow Feather would not like being called great grandma. <laughs> no. Okay. Next in age order is Cracker and Ivana. Cracker belongs to me, and Ivana belongs to Paris. We're, we're taking way too long explaining them. We could I think spend. It's all right. We could spend hours explaining this family. They're they're but. twins and they're how old are they? We in the series, they're like seventeen or sixteen. Okay. Next in age order is. Flopsy and Mopsy. I always forget that Flopsy and Mopsy are old. Which are mine. And if you guys are confused because you've been watching the series and this is not the Mopsy you're used to, it's because I lost Mopsy for a while when I started making the series. So I got another Webkins. It appalls me that she used this <laughs> Webkins. Okay, I went to Five Below like I'm just gonna buy Webkins and they had Don't five. Don't you have another pug? No. Why? I went to Five Below like I'm just gonna buy a Webkins and that's what I'm gonna use. And they just had five of this puppy. And I'm like, that looks, to be honest, I was like, I hate that. That is not Mopsy, but then I was like, it's the only thing they have. You know what? It'll do because she's technically an imposter anyway. So we're so we have her play Mopsy currently in the series, but like I wanted to get revealed that she's not actually Mopsy, and the story behind that I'm not gonna reveal right now because I want you to watch you it instead whenever I make it. Is. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Don't challenge me, Sarah. You have a plan. I do have a plan. She's not really Mopsy. 
but what's the story behind it? You don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's keep I, going. I don't know. All three, of, all three of these that. are mine and not Paris's. Next in age order is Max, who's also mine. Who, I feel like Paris would just get mildly annoyed if I spent too much time talking about her. So I'm not going to. I mean, I've not going heard to. this story many times. Yeah, she aspires to be an actress. She belongs to me. In age order, I think it's Nick and Lexi. No, Susan and Lauren. Who are also mine. <laughs> Sciencey twins, you guys know that. Can we, should we talk about um, Radon's like the youngest, technically. I mean, technically, oh, but yeah, he, they created him. But you don't have a code. Yeah. Those are all you. Have you talked about that in the card office? Yes, I have. <laughs> Next in age order is on Snickers and Lexi. Snickers is their first boy. I decided. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, wow, Snickers. <laughs> so Lexi belongs to Paris and Snickers belongs to me. Fun fact in the Cardoxen family, it's a tradition to name the eldest son Sophia. Nicholas. But since there's so many Nicholases, Blue Star has a brother named Nicholas and he, they call him Nick. Snickers, they decided to nickname him Snickers. That's cute. That was never a thing when we were little. No, it wasn't. Named him Snickers. Yup. <laughs> this is Tammy. She wants to Paris. She's like little and kind of a troublemaker. Yes, I and remember yeah, that. Timmy she was has a fun. jerk in our story. <laughs> Then is Fire Hydrant. Fire Hydrant is also yeah. a jerk. Yeah. Tammy ever. and Fire Hydrant are you know, like a little indistinguishable. I don't really remember what was the difference between the two of them. I think they were like bros and jerks together. Yeah. They were like partners in crime, kind of. They were close in age, so. Next is Butternut and Buttercup. We tell them apart because at one point we put duct tape collars on all of them. And all of mine had tie dye duct tape collars and all of Paris's had penguin duct tape collars. And mine was named Butternut because I just thought that was cooler than Buttercup. I don't know why. I guess. And then. I mean, shut up. <laughs> Hers was Buttercup. Darling, who belongs to me, and Juliet. And the story behind them was they were born in the other dimension. Mm -hmm. And other dimension. Another and like, dimension. were like attached by like hot dogs. And because they were born in an alternate dimension, These? Juliet can like speak perfectly and yeah. also like write perfectly uh -huh. and read perfectly. And like, Darling, Darling can't like, speak yeah. at all, but Juliet understands her perfectly. And she like, speaks like gibberish. Yeah, and then like, like Darling's into DJing for some reason. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's just the is hot a thing. Dog birth was the weirdest one that we filmed. <laughs> oh the yeah. Hot dog birth, like, <laughs> a hot dog was aborting the birth. Yeah. <laughs> when they were in another dimension. That was when they were born. Technically the youngest is Radon, who My was favorite. their creation, who belongs Susan to and Paris. Lauren's creation. Susan and Lauren created him. This is my best oh, yeah. idea, I think. He's a good one. He I like him. One. Yeah, <laughs> that's so You're that's really a science creation. His <laughs> eyes aren't quite right. Yeah, they're perfect. I mean, not perfect, they're but that's what perfect. it is perfect that they're not perfect. Yes, I love him. He's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Cardoxen split between who owns them, mm -hmm. with some additional yeah, members thrown in that you guys are not used to from the series. This is a family. This is Callie, and this is Autumn, and they're married, and they have two daughters, yeah, Fallon, who's an actress, and Ruthie, who wants to be an actress, but, like, just kind of is not as successful as Fallon, like and gets less love as a result. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Blackie. She is a wit. Blackie spelled B-L-A-K-Y. You have to explain Blackie. Blackie is Blakey. noodles, Webkins. Blackie. Blakey. Explain Blackie. <laughs> she's part of the cult and she's an actual she's legitimate part of Cora's cult. <laughs> magic person. I thought you were going to say an actual, actual legitimate lesbian. lesbian. Um, she's <laughs> also an actual legitimate lesbian. Uh, <laughs> she is just awesome in general and she created a unicorn with her magic mm -hmm. to yes. be their child. This is Arwen. If Blackie's this nice, she would have left Cora's cult if she was using her magic to like create them a child. No, but I mean, well, that's selfish. selfish. That's oh, very right. selfish. Yeah. She selfishly created Child yeah, magic. and uh, Arwen just doesn't the care. World. Arwen's just yeah. out here She's like being a trophy she wife. She Arwen's a trophy <laughs> look wife. Look at that outfit. <laughs> Does that outfit look like a nice person to you? Arwen's a trophy wife. She's just out here. Ooh. Yes, Arwen She's not dressed like a trophy wife right now. So, so you can take Leo's dress. Yeah, Blackie belongs to Noodle. Arwen belongs to... Paris. Paris. And then Tamika, their child, belongs to me. These are our three black cat minions. They're all minions of Korra. This is Noir. This one's Silas. Both of these are mine. And there's also Elena, who is one of the minions as well. She belongs to Paris. Their like whole thing is, you've seen definitely Silas and Noir in a few of Cora's videos, uh, but they're like very much her servants, are just like, they absolutely like adore and idolize her. And they're like big members of her cult. Wait, are they like the three little kids in Nightmare Before Christmas? I guess the kind boogie, of. The, the boogeyman? Yeah, they're, they're kind of cool. like that. Noir has like really like sleek new fur, so she's like really kind of like she got short hair. Irving is back to like destroying that cup. I Irving, he got a new cup. 
We got a new cup to destroy. No, it's the same cup it's because the same you cup. didn't get me a cup of water. And I don't want to get up. Yeah, Noir has very sleek, short fur. Well, uh, Silas is a lot fluffier. And then I feel like she just has like really kind of like prickly fur. It's like short, but not like as slick as Noir's fur, Elena. Cora's minions, they will give their lives for her and they will do pretty much anything for her. And you'll just have to see exactly what it is that they will do for her. Thanks, Sarah. This is Irving's cup that he's decided um, he wants to show everyone. There are literally just like seven people in my room right now. Yeah, this is Albany. And yeah, the, the teeth are just because like, she, she was in She the, played a she vampire, vampire when we tried to recreate Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We got through half an episode maybe. No, not even close to not half. Even. Not even. Not even. She is a ranger in a in a famous park. I don't know which park. <laughs> a Probably park. Yosemite or something. Yeah. They they live together and yeah. I think they're very cute. Mm -hmm. Then he's like they like they're like a little older and they like like got together when they're like a little bit I older like that. than that. That's couple. cute. Yeah. They're I like, feel like they're health know. nuts and they'd mm -hmm. be like really into like physical activity and stuff and mm -hmm. staying healthy. And they're just like taking their relationship, you know, like really slowly. Yeah, I like you know, that. enjoying it as they go. They're very professional. Uh huh. I professional like in their professional in their romantic work lives relationship. And their personal life, oh, I feel okay. like I like that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they're the kind of people that would have binders mm -hmm. for things. Clover and Albany. I like that. That's all for this video, you guys. I, I didn't film an outro for it either, like I said earlier. <laughs> we just kind of made it. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the Kins Collector channel for more videos in the future. Bye!